Oh hey there, do you ever wonder how we connect to the vast world of the internet? Sure, let me show you and tell you all about browsers. Hello everyone, we are the group 5 and today we're gonna talk about web browsers. So, what are web browsers? Browsers are like magic portals on your computer. They help us reach out to websites, open files, and show us all sorts of cool stuff like text, pictures, and videos. Examples of these browsers are Google Chrome, Opera GX, Mozilla Firefox, and Microsoft Edge. Those are a few examples, now let's move on to parts of a URL. Like www.google.com, you're actually telling your browser where to go. The first part, HTTP is like a set of rules for talking to other computers. And the second part, like google.com, tells us exactly where to find what we're looking for. Once we found our way to a website, it sends us a special file full of instructions called HTML. It's like a blueprint that tells our browser how to show the web page on our screen. Now, let's talk about web utilities. These are little helpers that make our online adventures easier and safer. Some help us keep safe from bad stuff on the internet, while others help us transfer files or keep our computers secure. And finally, plugins. These are like special tools that help our browsers do even more cool stuff. Some websites need plugins to show us all their amazing contents like videos or interactive games. Examples of these plugins are Microsoft Silverlight and Adobe Reader. Hi everyone, my name is Marin Delphine from bt one g Now, I have four topics that we're going to discuss about. The first one is filters followed by file transfers, utilities, internet security suites, and last, the communication. Now, let's talk about the first one, filters. Hi everyone! As we all know that the internet is an interesting and multifaceted arena, but not all aspects of the internet are appropriate for all audiences. Parents in particular, are concerned about children roaming unrestricted across the internet. Now it is when the filters role come in. Filters block access sites. Filter programs not only allow parents to block out selected sites and set time limits but also can monitor use and generate reports detailing the total spent on the internet. A filter is a program or section of code designed to examine each input or output request. Now, for example, the Cyber Patrol. For over 20 years, they help families and businesses protect themselves from pornography online. Next is the File Transfer Utilities. File transfer utilities programs are widely used to upload and download files from a server on the internet. Using file transfer utilities software, you can copy files to your computer from specially configured servers. This is called downloading. Uploading is when you copy your files from your computer to another computer on the internet. Internet Security Suites An Internet Security Suite is a collection of utility programs designed to maintain your security and privacy while you are on the web. A security suit is an all-in-one cybersecurity solution. It typically includes features as an antivirus, anti-malware protection, a firewall, and performance scan. Two of best known internet security software for 2021 are Bitdefender and Norton. Next is the communication. It is the most popular internet activity and its impact cannot be overestimated. Electronics communication has become a standard way to stay in touch with others. The computer does this by sending a data 
to one or more other computers who decode the message and allow the recipient to send a message back. Some popular types of internet communication are email, messaging, social networking, blogs, microblog, webcast, podcasts, and wikis. Hello guys, this is me, Hyacin. Today, I'll be sharing to you the last part of our topic, which are the email, messaging, and social networking. First, let's talk about what is email. So, email or electronic mail is the transmission of electronic messages over the internet. It has a three basic elements, header, message, and signature. Header appears first and it includes the following informations, the addresses, subject, and the attachment. The letter or message comes next. Finally, the signature identifies the sender. This information may include the sender's name, address, and telephone number. For many business communications, the signature also includes the sender's company name, address, and telephone number. There are two basic types of email system, the client-based and web-based. For us to be able to know what is the difference between the two, the client-based email system, it requires a special program, while the web-based email system do not require an email program. Let's move on to the next part, which is the messaging. While email was one of the first and is one of the most popular electronic messaging systems, other messaging systems have followed. Two of best known are text and instant messaging. Text messaging, also known as texting or SMS, short message service, is the process of sending a short electronic message, typically less than 160 characters, using a wireless network to another person, who views the message on a mobile device such as smartphone. Instant messaging IM, allows two or more people to contact each other via direct live communication. To use instant messaging, you register with an instant messaging service and then specify a list of friends. Whenever you connect to the internet, your instant messaging service is notified. And the last one will be the social networking. Social networking is one of the fastest growing and most significant web 2.0 application. Social networking sites focus on connecting people and organizations that share a common interest or activity. These sites typically provide a wide array of tools that facilitate meeting, communicating, and sharing. There are hundreds of social networking sites. Here are the best known social networking sites. Facebook. It was the most widely used social networking site. The second one is Twitter, an American microblogging and social networking service on which users post and interact with messages known as tweets. Third, Instagram an American photo and video sharing social networking service. And the last one is the LinkedIn, an American business and employment oriented online service that operates via websites and mobile apps. And that wraps up our exploration of web browsing today. We hope you found our tips and insights helpful. Don't forget to stay safe online by practicing good browsing habits and being mindful of your digital footprint. That's pretty much all. So the next time you open your browser and go exploring the internet, remember all the amazing things that it's doing behind the scenes to bring the world in your fingertips. That's all from me, Kurt Añente, signing out. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to like, subscribe, and share to all your friends. This video wouldn't be possible without the help of all our members. 
Marian Delphine and Hyacinth Cañeso from Bet1G. Signing out.